An array is a data structure used for storing a collection of values that all have the same data type. To declare an array, you start as you would a normal variable declaration, but in addition append a set of square brackets following the array's name. The brackets contain the number of elements in the array. The default values for these elements are the same as for variables. Elements in global arrays are initialized to their default values, and elements in local arrays remain uninitialized. To assign values to the elements you can reference them one at a time, by placing the elements index inside the square brackets, starting with zero. You can also assign values at the same time as the array is declared, by enclosing them in curly brackets. The specified array length may then be left out, to let the array size be decided by the number of values assigned. Once the array elements are initialized, they can be accessed by referencing the index of the element you want. Arrays can be made multidimensional by adding more sets of square brackets. As with single dimensional arrays, they can either be filled in one at a time, or all at once during the declaration. The arrays declared so far have been using static memory, also called non-dynamic memory. The size of such arrays must be specified with a constant value, because the size must be known before runtime. Trying to create the array with a variable will result in an error, because the variable is not assigned until the program is run. In order to create an array with a size that is not known until runtime, you need to use dynamic memory instead, which is allocated with the new keyword, and must be assigned to a pointer or a reference. Any array in C++ is actually a pointer to the first element in the array. The referencing of array elements can be made just as well with pointer arithmetic. By incrementing the pointer by one, you move to the next element in the array, because changes to a pointer's address are implicitly multiplied by the size of the pointer's data type. Keep in mind that just as with any other pointer, it is possible to exceed the valid range of an array. It is therefore important to keep track of the array's length. To determine the length of a statically allocated array, you can use the size of operator. This method cannot be used for dynamically allocated arrays. The only way to determine the size of such an array is through the variable used in its allocation. When you are done using a dynamic array you must remember to delete it. This is done using the delete keyword with an appended set of square brackets.